seed pre-scrambled. I can always close the windows. Especially when your Indiana Jones wannabe father is uh, nearby. Good luck, everybody. single groups of monsters I'm just going to fight rather than risk failing to run. Uh, the, the the high tier bead is guaranteed from uh, the mini uh, from the mini bosses. God, the route I'm using only gets one high level monster via um, the Tianlong meat, but I know there's there's other routes that have two monsters and you use the Fenrir meat along with random drops from uh, enemies to evolve the second monster. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're seeing uh, sprites on not perfect quality video, it's often subject to interpretation what it's supposed to be exactly. Storm, thanks for stopping by.
Uh, no. I'm, I'm basically, I'm, this game's been pretty heavily routed by, uh, by other people, and I'm more or less just kind of follow, following, uh, notes I took from watching, watching runs by other people. As I do more runs, maybe I might come up with my own ideas or something, but, uh, it doesn't fe honestly feel too likely that any of it's going to be like actually faster than what other people are doing. This, like, of, of the uh, Final Fantasy Legend games, this is by far the most popular and competitive one for speedrunning. Like, I've, I've made a few contributions to runs of Final Fantasy Legends one and three, but. Uh, I feel like uh, this game has probably been pretty thoroughly solved at this point, as far as optimizing the route and strategies. Blasting my robot some damage on uh, the last run that I forgot to do that equip there. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome, and I've always really been curious kind of why that is, too. Just why, uh... Why the speedrun scene from this game is, like, orders of magnitude larger than the other two com games combined. I keep doing <laughs> like, is it just, is this the game that the most people play as, as children and have nostalgia for, or, uh... People like running this game more than the other two because of uh, the how the uh, gameplay and routing and stuff flows. Yeah, I mean, L Legend 1, I can understand being less popular of a speed game because, uh, it's... <clears throat> because of the permadeath system and the fact that you can't guarantee running away from fights, uh, without manipulation. It's just, it's a game where, to do a speed run of it, you either have to very heavily manipulate, do RNG manipulation or do a lot of save scumming, which is kind of another form of manipulation, effectively, when you're just kind of re re reloading until you get the outcome you want. Hey, drinks, look in. Yeah, le yeah le kind of the, pro the problems with Legend 3 are the, um, I, I felt like, I ironically, the, the thing that makes it a more casual, friendly game, and that's that le there's levels and experience. Because when you play casually, that means you can just kind of grind your problems away you get, if you get stuck. But the, And then the drawback to that in speedruns is that uh, being underleveled is really bad. Especially with just how much health the bosses in Legend 3 have. Left instead of right. This 
different schools of thought and what direction is better to go here. Yeah, because I, I, because I have key in the party here, I'm not guaranteed runs on the fleas on the first turn. But if some, but, but if somebody dies, which is pretty likely, given that I took off my uh, two human characters' armor and I'm not healing them, uh, then I, then I am guaranteed the flea on the second turn. <laughs> Yeah, the, the way I like to try to explain it is that uh, um, party slots that are e that either have that are either empty because you don't have a guest character in the, at that time, or that have a dead character in them have phantom stats assigned to them. Uh, the, the the significant one being a hundred agility. Successfully did not get lost in the desert this time. Angie looking flower. <laughs> yep. Out there. Somebody stop me! At 90s era, Jim Carrey owned the world. Owned my world, that's for sure. Missed very few of his movies back then. <laughs> A uh, run is guaranteed if you either have a dead character or an empty slot. Either of which I... Because if you have a character die, they get up with 1 HP at the end of the fight. So I think Mask has pretty good agility, because I don't feel like I fail very many fleas when I, during the second half of Ashura's Tower.
Uh, when you have the, the the phantom stats for 100 agility, it feels like it's 100. percent Like I don't I don't think I've ever. I, I mean, I granted I have not been running this game for that long, but I don't think I've ever failed a flea when I have. Uh, that's a nice that's a nice split. Yeah, sub 15 Ashura is a pretty solid time. So yeah, if I'd have had a better start, this could have potentially been that. Well, good start. Maybe on paper it's possible to fail a run when you have phantom stats. Say that, yeah, thinking back to that gold had some navigation errors to coming back to uh or no actually no that i guess that was before the rhino because that was going back to uh key's temple after the relics of the ancient gods that <laughs> many many times Phagocyte, well, or, or phagocyte is how I say it, but phagocyte works too. Wonder if, wonder if that. It wouldn't surprise me if that's an actual real word from biology. Yeah, I believe that's. There are to replace the shops in the Guardian's world once they get destroyed. Hey, my name Presto? Type of white blood cell, that makes perfect sense given what it is in game. Yeah, it does work out pretty conveniently though, going back to the runaway mechanics that most of the very, very long dungeons in the game that have a lot of encounters, you don't have a, a, a fifth character, so. Guaranteed fleas unless you get ambushed. Yeah, I'd, even though I didn't actually play this game as a kid, I remember reading about it in Nintendo Power, and I remember seeing maps of the giant world, and it looked really cool. It's sort of just how big everything is. Or do uh, the rest of the game. Yeah, with age, I've gained a lot of respect for what uh, game developers were able to do with extremely limited uh, hardware resources back in this time.
I would not be surprised at all. Just run. Then another factor, too, for really old games like this, too, is that uh, this is um, long before patching was a thing. Yep, yeah, before microtransactions. Better than worse. Yeah, whatever works. There's more text there. Remember that text there. Yeah, there are a lot of things I miss about just being being a gamer around the time this game came out or so than nowadays. Like being able to rent games, games being more effectively finished when they're first released. Yeah, I guess, uh, but you're not, like, yeah, not needing an online account. Just plug in the cartridge and go. Oh, yeah, I've got fond memories of playing Super Mario World for the first time at a shop co. Yeah, demo Super Nintendo set up. I mean, expansions were a thing for PC games. Like, I remember getting expansions for, like, for some of the Wing Commander games. And, uh, uh TIE Fighter I was really into for a while. Uh, expansions for that. Oh, yeah, Sonic, yeah. Sonic and Knuckles was, uh, definite... DLC for a console game, I will not argue with that. Kinda cool what happened if you tried to play combine Sonic and Knuckles with other games besides Sonic 3, too. Well I think the the end result for the most part is just getting a lot of extra blue spheres stages. Yeah, for me, for me, that was Dragon Warrior 4, like, uh, I think two of my high school era friends, well, I guess more like middle school at the time, uh, era friends, and I all had copies of that. We're getting stuck at 
varying level, varying points, and telling each other how to progress. Yeah, and I also remember learning about the Vanish Doom glitch from Final Fantasy VI from friends at school. The equivalent of game FAQs at the time. Hey, Rocco, thanks a lot. Yep. Rumors about how to resurrect you know who and stuff like that. I feel like I kind of alternate around depending on what kind of boot I'm in between calling it game facts and game uh, FAQs. Kind of like how I, I, I inconsistently pronounce the protagonist of Final Fantasy IV, either Cecil or Cecil. I think I do Cecil a little more frequently, because, specifically because there was a, uh, a business called Cecil's Shoe Repair that in my hometown that had TV commercials uh, when I was a kid. I guess not, no, and I now know that yes, Cecil is basically American pronunciation, and Cecil is British. Oh yeah, I mean, I actually did a run of the PC version of Final Fantasy VII for uh, Awesome Games Done Quick, uh, 2015, that uh, has Aerith in the party for the final bosses. to some very heavy glitching. Some time here. So, so the pop clean the walk in that room one. Okay, only two seconds is perfectly adequate. Walk away quickly to skip dialogue. Uh, this was AGDQ 2015 was when I ran PC FF7. It's certainly come a long way since then as far as just how, uh, how much more broken it's gotten. Because at that time, the uh, it like um, the really short, glitchy runs of it were New Game Plus. Like, what, like it hadn't been figured out how to do a lot of the skips uh, without having New Game Plus save files. Yeah, exactly. Diana Fire in a JRPG. Can you uh, do that? Yeah, it's just, <laughs> yeah, intravenous terrorists and rhinoceroses are just incredible. Oh, you mean the Apollo's world? Yeah, yeah, the dungeons in Apollo's world are pretty cool. The only one that's just kind of generic, I'd say, is the mountain cave.
Yeah, we'll probably be seeing that sword monster at least once. I think it's in the Cave of Light. Hodor is not from this game. That's from yeah, Game of Thrones. Sounds right. I, 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 whatever that sword enemy we're thinking of is kind of a similar name, though. I know it starts with an H. There we go. Whole food. There we go. It's in this place too. I bet this is, uh, well, I guess I actually don't know whether this the floor pattern here is better or worse to look at on an actual Game Boy screen as opposed to on a TV screen like I'm seeing here. Disclaimer, I assume no responsibilities for any uh, side effects of uh, being the Cave of Light in Final Fantasy Legend 2 on through original hardware. Secret entrance to this cave.
Oh, food sword. Looks like it has a really funny joke it wants to tell us. Pit stop here to get a rocket to sell for cash because I didn't get the phagocytes and keep body. actually on the rock was on a different floor than I thought I was on Last run to during the very brief period of time we have Lynn as our guest character. Bad things are happening. Hey, despite a misstep there, got a gold split. Lynn is not a great character, though you're only, she's only with you for like a third of a room or so. Just unfortunate that la the, both <laughs> this run and the run before the very brief period of time that she's with me, I, I that led to failing a flee from an encounter. Stats are not good. We're dragging down the rest. I uh, I don't rem I don't think so. I don't think she rejoins you for the ninja fight. Just kind of watches. Pretty much listen to the whole soundtrack on that, uh, to the heroic tune to uh, progress the story. Hey, Baba Ganoush, welcome in.
Yeah, agreed. Uh, no, I don't. I, I, I prefer to run the main story mode. When, while I was learning to run the full game, though, I did some Ancient Cave streams, which is the 99 floor roguelike dungeon, just to just to beat it for the first time, because I never could as a kid. But uh, I don't really have much interest in doing speedruns of the Ancient Cave. Well, which will be selling eventually. I do 100% understand the appeal of the uh, the cave over the full game, but uh, I, I enjoy the full game more because it has boss fights. Like, I don't consider the jelly in the ancient cave to be a boss fight because it doesn't fight back. It's just kind of, it's a check to see if you can do 10,000 damage in three turns. Tragic as that is, I do always enjoy the sound effect for Dad self-destructing a bitch just how uh, cartoony it is. Yeah, exactly. Fun. It's kind of the number It's a good motto. It's a good motto to have, definitely. Now I can't help but be curious what the other two mottos are.
<laughs> that's a good, yeah, that's a good one, uh, motto to have too, along with not never starting a land war in Asia. Alright, let's not forget to pick up some Magi in this in these sewers this time, which ate a bunch of time uh, last run. That's interesting. Yeah, I've I can't say I've ever really thought too hard about what about what uh, what that meant exactly, other than just Wallace Shawn being being funny. Good matters. Flexing beetle there. Well, yeah, the sewer is kind of lousy with encounters because the game is uh, enjoying its ability to give me uh, ambushes while it still can, just because when I get the Watcher in the next world, I can no longer be ambushed. Monster Art Coloring Book, nice. Well, start up a Kickstarter. Yeah, it would, it would honestly not surprise me if there's a bit of overlap in, uh, like, sprite artists between, uh, all, all three Final Fantasy Legend games and Mystic Quest, because there's a lot of overlap between Legend 3 and Mystic Quest, like, the, like it's got the same composer for the music, uh, the look and feel of the battle little engine feels very similar like in some way like i kind of like to refer to final fantasy legend 3 as um kind of grown up mystic quest just because it's it's a very similar battle system but it has way more depth to it yeah only one ambush that's nice <laughs> yep, sadly it does not. Comfortable looking worm. Hey, Anatulu, I like that. Uh... <laughs> I like that <laughs> emote. The literal fish out of water there, yeah. 
so much good sprite work. Lizard. The lava in this game is like in Final Fantasy One where it Prevents encounters. I mean, uh, the land before time, I think. Ultra's Gambini opening. I believe so, yeah. I think, <clears throat> like, I think that's part of why the robot is always in the last slot, because to minimize the ch getting hit.
Yeah, Burning Blood is the final dungeon theme. It's what we were just hearing in the cutscene. And we get burned. Too bad, it would have been probably been a gold if I had first tried Venus. Yeah, and it, uh, yeah, I, I think that's the first time I've ever been one-shot by Venus like that. Ah, miss. Still going easy. <laughs> hey, we still got <laughs> hey, still got a gold despite death to Venus. Well, looking looking good for PB pace, but none of it really matters until we're past Watcher, unfortunately. That's this game go to die, and then and then runs that get past the Watcher go to Arsenal to die. <laughs> A lot of RNG. Yeah, well, I mean, I, 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 we're, I'm not running against the, the previous run. I'm running against my personal best from about four years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess Odin can be pretty problematic, too. Not just because of the fight itself, but the slipe near meat glitch, too. It can make you have to do a bunch of extra stuff for money. enemies doing nothing or enemies that were queued up to attack somebody that died Zombie that turns into Genbu from the first game. I bet I need to get a landmark or something to go off. Oh, okay, <laughs> I, that was pretty close. I need, I need to like count trees or something to uh, recognize where the, uh, the Lamy tile is. I think just because Madam is faster and more consistent to evolve, like uh, other, getting other types of monsters would probably require getting lucky with uh, heat drops from other encounters. That are, as you can get the uh, you can get the Madam 100% guaranteed via the uh, the Tianlong beat uh, in the last dungeon.
probably move this split to finish the split to finishing the race. Uh, the strat is to reset until I get the meat drop. It gives my uh, monster character that's been more or less dead weight for the whole run so far a really, really big boost. I'm, yeah, I'm also reloading if I get three or four watchers, because it's one randomly. More than two watchers both takes too long and... Uh, And is dangerous too. Still got a chance at a PB. Not a particularly fast watcher. Yep, yeah, just. Bad, but not quite bad enough to, uh, to dash all my hopes and dreams. Hopefully Banana's world is uh, a little kinder than the run before this, where I had two Gate Guardian fights in Rogan Castle. Good night, Jim's friend. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> hey, GK, that is, uh, that's pretty special. <laughs> Sleep book we got. So it was already outside the shop. <laughs> Yeah, the irony of uh, having some kind of really annoyingly bombastic uh, Twitch ad while you're going to a pretty low-key and chill uh, stream is uh, pretty uh, jarring. In our uh, Japanese-themed world, we've got swords named after uh, Celtic mythology, I believe. A.T. Murdoch, yeah. That is also uh, ironic juxtapositioning. Evil banana boat. I get lost on the ship this time. Like it's run.
a Wonelio command. Compliment. So I get a tank out of a chest. Yep. I think I think I have some banana boat uh, sunscreen in my uh, uh, closet. I guess I should have done this bit at you after open getting the uh bank at least, but uh establish a consistent spot to do this so that I about it. Uh, yes, I have. It's also why I'm not planning to play the demos, because I'm just I'm going to play the game when it comes out. So I'd rather that when it uh, when it comes out. It's a really, really, really weird feeling to uh, <laughs> for there to actually be a new Banna game, though, because I think the last actual new Banna game I played that was not some kind of remaster or remake was Legend of Banna on the PS. Play any of the era mana games, and I don't. I, from what I've heard, I'm not really missing out. <clears throat> like bananas were found on the ship. Yeah, anyone not familiar, the bananas were drugs in the Japanese version, and that's a pretty hilarious form of censorship. Trial, the, the the Trials of Mana remake uh, that came out in 2020 was, was 3D. Uh, I, the the like the PS2 era Mana games might be 3D too, but I like Dawn of Mana and stuff like that. But I um. I am glad though that the answer answer when uh, um, when Square ran out of good mana games to remake, they made a new one instead of remaking bad games. Uh, Trials of Mana is is very very good, which is the remake of Second Densetsu Three. It's it's a, it's a, it's more, more, for effectively a new game. It's, it's got the same story and characters and bosses and stuff, but it's completely remade into a 3D engine. Has a lot of quality of life improvements and stuff. I de so I definitely recommend it. Uh, Legend of Mana is a pretty it's a pretty solid game too, but it uh, it has uh, my recommendation for that has some caveats where. Uh, it's an open world game that has a lot of very obtuse story triggers and mechanics. So, uh. If you're, if you're okay with. Basically, to, to enjoy Legend properly, you either need to just be okay with a lot of. with a very heavy trial and error style experimentation, or use, re like, guides and resources to 
help you figure it out. But yeah, it's 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 just I like to call Legend of Mana arguably the most gorgeous looking and sounding game on the PS1. Back in 2022, I think primarily I did I did a bunch of speed runs of Legend of Mana. Yeah, Rocco, yeah. I like to... The analogy I've always liked to use is that if you think of most uh, JRPGs as being like a movie, um, as far as like how the story flows, Legend of Mana is more like a TV series. Kind of the focus is more on like short stories with recurring characters rather than the arching plot that connects them together. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You're you're after my own heart, then Diana Fire, because yeah, the first the first RPG I ever played was the first Dragon Quest game, which I got a free copy of for subscribing to Nintendo Power in the 1991. I hope you're enjoying DQ11 then. I I played that when it came out on the PlayStation 4 in 17, I think. And very, very thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, I saw Diener doing harp hunting uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah, I remember the uh, cheat sheets with the Dragon Warrior games that had like all the stats for all the monsters in the game and stuff. Ah, uh, okay, Guardian, play with only stone men. you're halfway through this castle you can uh, you can run into the uh, unrunnable guardians fight again but it's often hard to tell what it is because uh, uh, because the it's not guaranteed to have all of the same monster types in it I had two of them in my last run that, that I mean, if, if I'm gonna have to fight the guardians, though, I only have like, one monster type is uh... Yeah, Still get the gate guardians on the roof.
Nice. It's probably cost me, uh, last time they were a good magnate fight. I mean, I'm sure it's definitely still possible to get a PB. My PB is not particularly good at this game, but uh, I do remember that my PB did get first try arsenal, though, so it's going to take some good luck for it to happen at this base. But Well, then again, I'd, my, my last run actually saved a lot of time on uh, the deck split. Castle notes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's nice for the speedrun that there's no dialogue, although I think it, from a casual perspective, I think it would have been nice to have alternative dialogue if you uh, if this is your first meeting with Odin. I did not get the meat glitch. Wow, that's a little big chunk of time saved. Too. Maybe my PB had some issues with Odin.
Uh, that would be Final Fantasy Legend 1, where a god is the final boss, and you can one shot him with a chainsaw. Screaming face wall dungeon. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, yeah, this game, this this place is called Final Dungeon, but it's not actually the Final Dungeon. The final world, which isn't really the final world, and by the final town, which is the final town. I kind of liken that to learning kung fu in the in the Matrix. How you learn karate out of a treasure chest. I mean, we do kill a god in this uh, game, namely Apollo. Yep, hey Mecca, yes. <laughs> I love, yeah, I, I love uh, just pulling a tank out of a chest that's on a ship and it's causing the ship to sink or anything. Since I've seen the Matrix 2, I need to fix that at some point. time here if I have a good Wormack fight. Pick up extra stuff in here to uh, visit the glitch on Odin. Robot here. 
upgrade from headbutt to crit. space, although the final boss could delete all of that if it decides to, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, getting two first try stone gazes around here is pretty good luck. I don't know what the success rate on it is, but it, it feels like it's at least 50%, if not two-thirds, or... I don't have the Pegasus anymore. Oops. Well, that's missing some of that lead that I forgot to. Uh... Ah, that's important. Look to. At least I remembered now instead of. Uh... After trying to fight uh, Apollo, though, without having equipment to actually do so effectively. I don't uh, belong to speedrun.com, I, pr I prefer to just do my own thing independently. TV definitely still possible, but that's that's a uh, gonna be a pretty nasty time loss because of my stuff.
kind of effectively cheesing this fight by just using specific weapons and abilities that actually hurt him during the uh, five turns of the fight where he's mostly invincible. Yeah, Jire has done a lot of runs of this. Pretty good time, too. He actually just ran this for RPG Limit Break this year, too. Magi queued up there. Geez, I only lost 40 seconds despite that all that extra walking. That well <laughs> a lot more time on the table here then apparently. <laughs> Again, the final boss can delete that entire lead if it decides to, though. That whole segment gives me some very heavy Indiana Jones in the last Crusade vibes. I can't help but wonder if uh, that was an, that was a source of inspiration. That would be ni very nice in Legend 1. Uh, no, there's no. Th th there, it is possible to do manipulation in this run, but the glitchless rule set bans basically all of it. If there is, um. Menu movements I'm doing that don't really seem to serve a purpose. That's generally just going to be, be just <laughs> just mistakes or uh, fingers slipping or stuff like that. This is a fairly chill run, so just kind of what you see is what you get for the most. Demo load. There we go. Instead of demon. We are loading the demo. Uh, yes, I absolutely need the Tian Lung lead, but fortunately it's guaranteed. But 
Yeah, I need that to evolve the Watcher into a Madam, which is my final form. Hey, Chester, thank you very much for the raid, sir. Stream is a good one. You're in the final descent of a FFL2 run. It's on PB pace, despite some pretty bad stuff happening. It's like my, uh... My time isn't particularly good yet. Ah, uh, thanks for the jerk. Tian lungs. Three either. Buttons. Yeah, that's a look. Definitely need it, uh, going into it. Couple enemies here that you can use fatal gas on with the Hey Chrono Mark. It's always been my understanding that Madam is short for Madam Butterfly. Spring going. <laughs> yep. Hey, uh, hey, we got a dinosaur spray. Let's just let's use it for every every kind of dinosaur. Okay, apparently I don't want to try to absorb from the plant. <laughs> that how that message made it sound like I was overflowing my uh, health or I can't imagine it matters really that much in the speedrun. Or just kind of a silly thing that can happen. Nothing that can... Thank <laughs> you. 
think I was going to effectively be wasting an elixir for all the bosses, but counters here. Yeah, we get money when we have literally nothing to spend it on. Although I, although I think you might actually be able to uh, um, use the Pegasus Magi with Isis to, to teleport to towns, though, now that I think. Yeah, Fenrir is a wolf, and yet we're fighting a tiger sprite. <laughs> Yeah, the door item is in the first game. Almost a really clean one. PB got first try ar arsenal, so I need to do so to PB again. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was looking pretty scary when I was seeing those damage numbers uh, racking up from that flare spell. Like, okay, I hope Isis can survive. Hey, old drink guy opening. Trying to heal the robot, but uh, make sure the uh, madam can survive too. Hey! Didn't matter though. GG. Right on. GG's everybody. It was a very lucky fight, Arsenal fight, as far as the damage roll I was uh, taking in the last phase. <clears throat> so I think I think Arsenal can do up to like 640 damage or so with it on the last phase, which is. Thought she'd 
I guess I'm getting this mixed up with the uh, conversation at the uh, at the start where she shrinks afterward. Oh, you oh, he can only have double digits, huh? Well, that sounds about right for how uh, unfortunately uh, random small is. <laughs> yeah, and then Phase Two Smasher missed a lot in that fight too. That's not too uncommon though. But yeah, I mean, let's look. Let's look back. So yeah, the start. Well, the start was the only time I was actually like behind. Uh, as far as why, I assume it's probably just because of flea luck, which is the main the main thing there. I know, I know, I know. Sub fifteen Ashura is a pretty good benchmark. So the fact that I was fifteen XX is. Pretty nice. Um, remember too much about the mid game. The watcher was not fast at all. It was like uh, sixth try or something like that. Um, I had uh, I think one gate guardians fight in uh, castle. Surprised I saved that much time on Odin. I must I mean I must have had to retry that a few times. But, I mean my previous PV was from four years ago, so there's a lot there's a lot I don't remember about it other than that I first tried Arsenal and that I got raided by uh, Big Bad Gameathon, I think, that was wrapping up uh, around that time. Yeah, and I think saving all that time on the Warmax split is probably just from just better optimized money routing as far as picking up less stuff in the dungeon. Yeah, and then I lost time on Apollo because I I forgot to go to the final town to buy stuff before uh, fighting Apollo, so I had to walk back. Definitely left some time on the table there. Um, that felt like a fairly solid final dungeon as far as um, just the types of encou the encounter groups I got. I didn't really have a lot that... Uh, Took extra attacks to mop stuff up, like another would be like three or four so that Isis didn't just clear out. And I also didn't get stuck in any fights with no flares on Isis because of the getting pushed in by the conveyor belt, so that was nice. I had an extremely lucky uh, phase three arsenal. And most importantly of all, I do have arsenal spelled correctly on my splits this time, too. Like, I, uh, it was kind of an eyesore for me that my uh, previous PB had Arsenal misspelled. That's fixed now, but yeah, I mean, uh, but yeah. Goal, goal as of now is sub 145. I mean, uh, this is just a run that I've been meaning for several years to come back to and improve my time at. I mean, I'm not, I don't know. I, I don't really see myself getting uh, kind of into this run enough to push like for sub 140, but which is like which is a legit good time. But uh, uh, who knows? I mean, if it takes me long enough to figure out something else to run. Maybe I might for a while, but uh, but so.